<laughs> Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, I was going through your filmography earlier, and it shocked me that you hadn't worked with M. Night Shyamalan. I'm sure he was off your list. Was he someone that you wanted to try? And obviously, it's his daughter, but yeah. in the in the realm of Shyamalan, was this something you wanted to cross oh, off your sure. list? Sure, yeah, for sure. I, I I had met him once when I was younger, which I always, I always remembered. Um, but yeah, no, I was excited to be a part of their world, and of course, Ishana forging her own path. Excited to be a part of that with her, and I think they need their own genre of Shyamalan. You know, it's so specific to them, and um, yeah, it's very cool to be a part of it. What's the lure now for horror films? Because obviously, horror films, especially in the last sort of ten years or so, they've reflected a lot of real world stuff, and they've become much more popular than a lot of these horror films go straight to DVD. For you, as a as an actor, what's the lure of them now and the, this particular script? I mean, you know, it's like, I, I know that this has horror aspects to it, but I connect more to the kind of, which I think I, I think is, is really the sign of a good horror film or thriller, that there's, you know, as much as it is about the supernatural or the scares, it's also about the people and, like, the, the humanity of it all and the kind of groundedness. Um, but I think, you know, we, we live in a, in a time that's, unsettled and so and I think people have a lot of fears and um, can kind of exercise those fears through these films or something you know and um, kind of you know it's not real at the end of the day and there's some peace in that so you can feel these feel these emotions in like a safe environment of a theater or something like that you know what I mean <laughs> what's the advantages with, with a movie like this versus a bigger movie that you might have done that was four or five months in terms of you know, being in there with everybody for an X amount of time rather than sort of six. What's the advantages and disadvantages of doing a horror film and a film like this in such a quick turnaround, if you like? Um, I mean, it wasn't that quick. It was, like, <laughs> it was, I mean, it was like, you know, maybe nine weeks or something like that. So that's not, you know, crazy. No, it wasn't six or seven months, but rarely are things six or seven months anymore, I feel. Um, but yeah, no, I felt, I, I felt like we had a good amount of time and, you know, we spent a lot of long days in the forest, <laughs> so yeah, it was good. Uh, just finally, I wanted to ask you about uh, the success of Ripley, which everybody I know is, is talking about, left, right and centre, about everybody. Were you anticipating that the show would not only be as successful as it is, but it's kind of penetrated social media and everyone is talking about theories and this and that and everything else? Are you, are you removed from that or do you, have you seen the some impact? Thing, I've seen some things. I mean, doing Ripley took up such a massive time in my life, you know, a lot of time and we all gave so much to the story and so it's so exciting for people to watch it and for people to like it as much as they do and people it almost I, I worked on it for so long and in such a kind of insulated environment it almost felt like this secret that I was keeping and now everyone's sort of in on the secret which is quite weird for a minute but um it's it's wonderful I was so so thrilled that people are connecting with it and it was a real labor of love and devotion from a lot of people so well, listen i wish you all the best with this one thank, thank you so much, much for your time thank cheers you. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey yeah. you guys <laughs> hey you guys hey <laughs> that's what they all say hey you guys hey you guys